Welcome to live2place.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. Hello students, in this video I will discuss how to calculate the radius of a solid crystal element. This is a density formula. Uh, since we need this formula to solve this problem, I have given this formula. Density is equal to Z into M upon A cube into Na. And so by solving this problem, I will show you how you can calculate the radius of a solid crystal element. The problem says that iron, it is an element which crystallizes as a body center cubic lattice. You can see that iron is having BCC uh, structures. And so from this information, we can calculate Z value. Z value for BCC is 2. It means that number of uh, atoms per unit cell are 2. And has a lattice of density, here density D value is given, is of 7.87 gram per centimeter cube at a 20 degree C at this temperature. Now the question says that calculate the radius of iron atoms means we have to calculate R value that is the radius. Before we calculate the radius of iron atoms we need to know the length of unit cell. If you look at the information you can see that density of the element is given and iron is having BCC structure from this we got Z value. We can apply density formula and we can calculate length of unit cell. You can see that A is the length of unit cell and it is measured in centimeters. Let's plug in the values. Density we have that is 7.87 and it is in gram per centimeter cube is equal to Z, Z is 2 multiplied by M is the atomic mass. Atomic mass of iron is 55.85 uh, that is in gram per mole upon a cube this is what we are going to calculate that this is the volume of unit cell and from this we can find out a value multiplied by Avogadro number that is a constant is equal to 6.0 multiplied by 10 to power 23 and it is per mole now we can do the cross multiplication we can transfer a cube on left side and we can move this value on right side then the setup we get a cube is equal to here we have 2 multiplied by 55 0.85 and it is in gram per mole upon this value will go down here we have 7.87 and it is gram per centimeters cube multiplied by Avogadro number 6.0 multiplied by 20, uh, 10 to power 23 and it is per mole let's cancel the same unit mole per mole will cancel out gram gram will also cancel out it is per centimeter cube then this will go up then the value which we are going to find of volume of unit cell will be in centimeter cube. Now we can multiply the top values and so bottom one and we divide them. At the top we have uh, 2 uh, multiplied by uh, 55.85 and the value which we get that is 111.7 111.7 and so upon the bottom value is 7.87 and so it is multiplied by 6.0 this is the value we get 47.22 here we have 47.22 it is the exponent we can move this uh, exponent uh, up this is positive when it goes up it becomes negative 10 to power 23 and here we have the unit centimeter cube we can divide these values here we have 111.7 and it is divided by the bottom value that is 47.22 this is the value we get that is 2.366 here we have 2.366 and multiplied by 10 to power minus 23 and it is in centimeter cube this is the volume of unit cell from this setup we can find out the length of unit cell a length of unit cell a is equal to here we have 2.366 multiplied by 10 to power 23 it is in centimeter cube and here we have 1 upon 3 now let's plug in the values in the calculators here we have uh, sorry it is 2.366 and it is multiplied by 10 to power uh, minus 23 here we have as it is 3 and so the value which we get that is 2.87 here we get 2.87 multiplied by 10 to power minus 8 and it is in centimeters this is the length of unit cell you can see that how I calculated the length of unit cell now we can find the relation relation between uh, length of unit cell and the radius under BCC structures if you uh, if you look at this uh, table you can see that for BCC structure this is the relation given 
this is how we find out the relation for different uh, structure you can see that this is the for, B, for fcc structures and th this is the relation between uh, length of unit cell and radius is given and this is for primitive one now since we have to find out radius r value then we can uh, find out uh, uh, r value from this set of r is equal to we can transfer under root uh, 3 we can do just the cross multiplication as a result the setup which we get under 3a upon 4 this is the setup we get we can apply the formula this one and we can calculate radius of uh, elements here we have r that is the radius of element and under root 3 and a upon 4 under root 3 value we can plug in here it is 3 and under root 3 value uh, we get uh, Three under root three value we get one point seven three two. Here we have one point seven three two, and a value that is two point eight seven two point eight seven and multiplied by ten to power minus eight and it is in centimeters upon. Here we have four. Now we can multiply the top values and divide it by bottom one. Here we have one point seven three two and it is multiplied by two point eight seven. This is the value we get and it is divided by bottom numbers bottom numbers here we get 1.24 1.24 and we have this exponent multiplied by 10 to power minus 8 and it is in centimeters this is the radius of element in bcc structures you can see that how i calculated the radius of an element first i got first i calculated the length of the unit cell and so then i found the relation between length of unit cell and the radius under bcc structure and i, I applied the formula and calculated the radius of the iron atom thank you if you like this video please click the like button if you have any questions or suggestions please comment below for more updates on iit je or need exams please subscribe to our channel to get lot of updates support us by following us on facebook and twitter to sharpen your skills please try out our test series on livetotalage.com Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.